Imagine waking up reaching for your phone, the first thing many of us do in the morning. It's a reflex, a gateway to our day. But what if you found yourself suddenly locked out of your digital life, a cold digital wall erected between you and everything you rely on? Emails, the lifeblood of modern communication, inaccessible, bank accounts, the foundation of your financial security, suddenly beyond your reach. Every app, every service, every connection, everything. Your digital identity, your very existence online held hostage. No alarms blaring, no forced entry, no obvious break-in. Just a chilling silence emanating from your devices. Just a silent, invisible breach, a digital ghost slipping through the cracks. This unsettling scenario is the reality of a zero-day attack, a threat that looms large in our interconnected world. It's an exploit that takes advantage of a flaw, a vulnerability, a hidden weakness that no one, not even the software developers, knew existed. Once discovered, developers have zero days to fix it, to patch the hole before it's exploited on a massive scale. Hence the name, Zero Day. A race against time, a desperate scramble to close the door before the invaders pour in. Zero-day exploits are like skeleton keys for digital locks, master keys that unlock any door, bypass any security measure. They are capable of bypassing even the best, most sophisticated security systems, leaving you completely exposed. The consequences of a successful zero-day attack can be devastating, far-reaching, and deeply personal. From identity theft and crippling financial loss to widespread corporate disaster and national security breaches, the stakes are incredibly high. Traditional security tools, the firewalls and antivirus software we rely on, often can't stop what they can't see. They are powerless against the unknown. Zero days have no history, no fingerprints, no signature to detect. They are the ultimate stealth weapon. These attacks are the hidden battles of our digital era, fought in the shadows, often unseen by the public eye. They are waged by hackers seeking financial gain or notoriety, spies engaging in espionage and sabotage, and dedicated defenders working tirelessly to protect our digital infrastructure. Understanding zero days is now essential for anyone using technology, for anyone who participates in the digital world. Our digital world is built on trust, trust in the software we use, the devices we rely on, and the systems that connect us. And that trust is only as strong as the code beneath it, the lines of programming that underpin our digital lives. To protect ourselves, our data, and our digital future, we must first understand the threat, acknowledge its existence, and learn how to mitigate the risks. Zero days are the ghosts in our machines, the unseen vulnerabilities that haunt our digital landscape. They are lurking just beneath the surface, waiting to be discovered and exploited. They can strike anyone, anywhere, at any time, regardless of their technical expertise or security awareness. The first step in defense, the most crucial step, is awareness. Understanding the nature of the threat and the potential consequences. In this video, we'll pull back the curtain on these invisible dangers, shedding light on the dark corners of the digital world. Welcome to the world of zero-day exploits, a world where vigilance is paramount and knowledge is our greatest weapon. Think of your software, the programs you use every day, as a house. A place where you store valuable information and rely on for various tasks. Just like a house, it has security measures in place like locked doors and windows, designed to keep unwanted intruders out. These are your firewalls, your antivirus software, and your regular security updates. But what if there's a hidden vent, a secret passage no one knows about? A vulnerability that even the most thorough inspection might miss? That's a zero-day vulnerability, a weakness in the software that's unknown to those who should be protecting it. Neither you, the user, nor the builder, the software developer, knows it exists. It's a blind spot in the security landscape. So you can't protect against it with your existing defenses. Your security system is essentially blind to this particular threat. If someone discovers this vent, this hidden flaw, they can sneak in undetected, bypassing all your carefully constructed security measures. In the digital world, in the vast expanse of the internet and interconnected systems, these vents are flaws in code, lines of programming that contain unexpected vulnerabilities. Unknown even to the developers who wrote the code, these flaws can exist for a long time silently waiting to be exploited. A zero-day exploit, a malicious piece of software is the tool that takes advantage of this flaw, turning a hidden vulnerability into a weapon. The attack happens, the damage is done before anyone has a chance to fix it, before a patch can be created and deployed. Software is complex, incredibly intricate. Millions of lines of code, 
written by teams of developers, constantly evolving and being updated. This complexity means hidden flaws are inevitable. It's simply impossible to write perfect code every single time. Some are harmless, causing minor glitches or inconveniences, but others are critical vulnerabilities, posing a significant risk to your data and systems. Waiting to be found, lurking in the shadows of the digital world. The term zero day refers to the fact that developers, the people responsible for fixing these flaws, have zero days notice to patch the flaw. They are starting from scratch, with no prior knowledge of the vulnerability. Once discovered, whether by a malicious actor or a security researcher, attackers have a head start, a crucial advantage in the race against security. Sometimes for months or years before a patch is developed and widely deployed. During this window, this period of vulnerability, anyone using the software is exposed, potentially becoming a victim of a zero-day attack. Developers race to patch, working tirelessly to understand and fix the vulnerability, but can't act until they know the problem exists. Discovery is the first critical step. Zero days are a race against time, a constant battle between attackers and defenders. One you don't even know you're running. You're vulnerable without even realizing it. The danger is real. You can't defend against what you can't see. That's the fundamental challenge of zero-day vulnerabilities. That's why zero days are so valuable on the black market, fetching high prices from those who seek to exploit them. And so feared by security professionals and everyday users alike. Understanding them, learning about how they work and the risks they pose, is the first step to staying safe in an increasingly complex and interconnected digital world. Creating a zero-day exploit is like crafting a key for a lock no one knows exists. It starts with discovering a hidden flaw, often through techniques like fuzzing or reverse engineering. Once found, the attacker figures out how to control the flaw, such as triggering a buffer overflow. The goal inject malicious code, called shell code, and trick the system into running it. The exploit must be delivered, maybe hidden in a PDF, a website, or even a text message, some attacks require a click, others called zero-click exploits need no interaction at all. The result silent, reliable access to the target device. These exploits are digital weapons, precise, powerful and hard to detect, that's what makes them so dangerous. Stuxnet stands as the most infamous example of a zero-day exploit in action. It's a stark reminder of the potential damage hidden vulnerabilities can unleash. This sophisticated piece of malware was allegedly a joint creation of the US and Israel, designed with a specific high-stakes objective to sabotage Iran's burgeoning nuclear program. The target was the Natanz nuclear facility, a key site for uranium enrichment. Stuxnet didn't just disrupt operations, it caused physical destruction. It cleverly exploited four different zero-day vulnerabilities to infiltrate the facility's systems and wreak havoc on the centrifuges, the very heart of the uranium enrichment process. What made Stuxnet particularly insidious was its ability to conceal its activities. It operated stealthily, hiding its tracks to delay detection and prolong the damage it inflicted. Stuxnet served as a chilling demonstration that code, lines of programming, could translate into tangible, real-world destruction. It was no longer just about data theft or system disruption. This attack fundamentally blurred the lines between the digital and physical realms of warfare. It showed how a cyber attack could have profound physical consequences, impacting critical infrastructure and national security. And zero days aren't solely the domain of nation-state espionage or military operations. Even everyday software that we rely on like Google Chrome is a constant and attractive target for malicious actors seeking to exploit vulnerabilities. Back in 2022, Google Chrome developers were in a race against time, rushing out an emergency patch to address a critical zero-day vulnerability. This particular flaw allowed attackers to effectively hijack computers simply by luring unsuspecting users to visit malicious websites. A silent and invisible takeover. Then there's Pegasus, the infamous spyware. Pegasus represents the cutting edge of cyber surveillance technology, leveraging zero-click zero days. This means it can infect a target's phone without requiring any interaction from the user whatsoever. No clicking links, no opening attachments, just silent compromise. Once Pegasus has infiltrated a device it gains near total control, it can surreptitiously read messages gaining access to private communications. It can also track the phone's location in real time, providing a detailed record of the user's movements, and even activate the phone's cameras and microphones without the owner's knowledge. Tragically, 
Pegasus has been deployed against journalists and activists around the world, stifling dissent and chilling free expression. These diverse cases underscore the multifaceted nature of zero days, they can be wielded as tools of sabotage causing physical damage and disrupting critical systems. They enable pervasive surveillance, allowing governments and other actors to monitor individuals and organizations. And they facilitate everyday cybercrime, enabling hackers to steal data, commit fraud, and disrupt lives. In this interconnected world, no one is truly immune. Governments, companies, and individual citizens are all potential targets. The threat posed by zero-day exploits is pervasive and ever-present, a constant challenge in our increasingly digital world. The hunt for zero days is a high-stakes game with four main players. Cyber criminals seek profit using zero days for ransomware and data theft. Governments and intelligence agencies use them for espionage and cyber warfare. Security researchers and ethical hackers race to find and report flaws before they're exploited. Some work for bug bounties, others for cybersecurity firms. Then there are brokers, middlemen who buy and sell vulnerabilities, sometimes to the highest bidder. The market is lucrative, but the ethics are murky. All these groups are locked in a digital arms race. The stakes control over the world's most valuable secrets. Zero-day exploits are traded in three markets, white, gray, and black. The white market is transparent. Companies pay researchers for responsible disclosure through bug bounties. The gray market is secretive. Governments and contractors buy exploits for intelligence and surveillance. The black market is the digital underworld. Criminals buy and sell exploits for attacks and theft. Prices can reach millions for a single exploit. The white market helps patch flaws. The gray and black markets keep them secret, putting everyone at risk. The lack of oversight in the gray and black markets leads to abuse and collateral damage. This hidden economy fuels the ongoing threat. The more valuable the exploit, the more dangerous the consequences. Understanding this market is key to understanding the risk. Finding a zero day is like spotting a typo in a mountain of encyclopedias. Modern software is vast, millions of lines of code, endless complexity. Developers build in security but perfection is impossible. Attackers must chain multiple flaws to bypass modern defenses like ASLR and DP. Only a handful of experts have the skills to find and weaponize zero days. That rarity makes exploits expensive and attacks hard to predict. Antivirus and traditional security tools can't stop what they don't recognize. Zero days remain the weapon of choice for the most advanced attackers. Zero days are scary but you're not powerless. Keep your software updated. Enable automatic updates everywhere. Use the principle of least privilege. Only grant apps the access they truly need. Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication. A password manager can help keep your credentials safe. Be cautious. Think before you click and watch out for suspicious emails or links. Most attacks still rely on tricking users, not just exploiting code. Good security habits create layers of defense. While you can't eliminate all risk, you can make yourself a much harder target. Awareness and vigilance are your best protection. Zero-day exploits reveal the hidden fragility of our digital world. From sabotage to surveillance, their impact is real and growing. But knowledge is your shield. By staying informed, updating software, and practicing good security habits, you become a tougher target. The fight against zero days is ongoing, a battle waged by defenders and users alike. Cybersecurity is a practice, not a destination. Stay vigilant, stay curious, and take control of your digital safety. The best defense begins with you.